Good morning, TFS. Once again, we're inside because it's a wee bit chilly outside, but it's a great day, a great day to learn, a great day to be Franciscans at TFS. Yay! Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. Let's quiet ourselves for our morning prayer. The Bible taught us that Jesus healed so many people. We might not understand how some people are healed and some are not. But we know from the scripture that learning begins an abundance of faith in God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down on green pastures. He leads me inside the water that restores my soul. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. A man came to Jesus named Jairus, a leader of the synagogue. He fell at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had only one daughter, about 12 years old, who was dying. While he was still speaking, someone came from the leader's house to say, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any longer. When Jesus came to the house, they were all weeping and wailing for her. But he said, Do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and called out, Child, get up. Her spirit returned, and she got up at once. Then he directed them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Silent reflection. Think about this currently in your heart. Focus.
Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We wish Apollo Lynn good luck as he competes in the North Carolina Regional Spelling Meet tomorrow. This Friday will be a half day, and we will also have Monday and Tuesday off. Sports tryouts will be held next week, Wednesday through Friday, for baseball and softball. During Black History Month, you have heard about Ruby Bridges breaking the color barrier the war heroes, the Tuskegee Airmen, and the first black Nobel Peace winner, Ralph Bunch. Today you will learn about the greatest, the champ, the Louisville Lip, the hitman, hands of stone, the brown bomber, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was a boxer, philanthropist, and social activist who was one of the greatest athletes of the 20th century. He was an Olympic gold medalist and the world heavyweight boxing champion. Ali was born on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky. His birth name was Cassius Clay. At an early age, young Clay showed that he was not afraid of any bout, inside or outside of the ring. Growing up in the segregated South, he experienced racial pre prejudice and discrimination firsthand. At the age of 12, Clay discovered his talent for boxing through an odd twist of fate. After his bike was stolen, Clay told the told a police officer that he wanted to beat up the thief. Police officer Joe Martin started training him. Clay went on to win the 1956 Golden Gloves Tournament, as well as the Amateur Athletic Union's national title for the lightweight, light heavyweight division. In 1960, Clay won a spot on the U.S. Olympic boxing team and traveled to Rome, Italy to compete. At six feet, three inches tall, Clay was an imposing figure in the ring but he also became known for his lightning speed and fancy footwork. He won the light heavyweight Olympic gold medal. After winning gold at the 1960 Olympics, Ali took out British heavyweight champion Henry Cooper in 1963. He then knocked out Sonny Liston in 1964 to become the heavyweight champion of the world. In 1964, he changed his name to Muhammad Ali after converting to Islam. Ali had a career record of 56 wins, five losses, and 37 knockouts before his retirement from boxing in 1981 at the age of 39. In his retirement, Ali devoted much of his time to philanthropy. Over the years, Ali supported the Special Olympics and the Make-A-Wish Foundation, among other organizations. In 1996, he lit the Olympic cauldron at the Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta, an emotional moment in sports history. Ali traveled around the world to help those in need. In 1998, he was chosen to be a United Nations Messenger of Peace because of his work in developing nations. In 2005, Ali received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian award in the U.S. Muhammad Ali was known for his colorful descriptions and phrases. We will leave you, we will leave you with two of his quotes that we should put all into action today. Don't count the days, make the days count and service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. We have some birthdays and half birthdays to celebrate for today and tomorrow. In eighth grade, Hannah Martindale. Yay! Another half birthday in fifth grade, Colin Yazel. Another half birthday in second grade, Nathan Young. Yay, Nathan! 
and another half birthday in third grade, Noah Dininger. Yeah, Noah! On Wednesday in kindergarten, we have Caleb Ray. Yeah, in fourth grade, Emily Swan. Yeah, Emily! In seventh grade, Gab Gavin Mosler. Yeah, In sixth grade, we have Lane Carpenter. And some half birthdays in eighth grade, Adkins Allen. And another half birthday in third grade, Rivers Leonard. What do we say to our half beat? Half birthdays and birthdays for today and tomorrow. Happy birthday! Please join me in saying the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart and give me a correct faith, a certain hope of perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may be carried out with your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a terrific Tuesday. Yay! Go have a great day.